You guys ever heard that August Campbell song, How Does It Go? Were you born an asshole? Or did you work at it your whole life? It's a good tune, I don't know why, it just popped into my head for some reason. So a comment thread on a recent video I made about minimum wage started with an argument that isn't really an argument. If we raise minimum wage, we'll lose all these shitty low paying jobs to robots and computers. I mean, look at the self checkout, oh the horror. And I never get the point that people are trying to make when they make that argument because it argues against itself at every angle. We weren't like, whoa guys, we can't pay switchboard operators too much or they might just make it so our phones call who we're trying to get in touch with directly. Technology has replaced countless jobs over human history. We shouldn't stop it simply to keep some shitty job around. Second, if a job can't economically pay somebody a living wage, it shouldn't exist. If the only two options are poverty wages or the job being done by a robot, should be done by a fucking robot. And then third, let's just say we were trying to keep these shitty jobs around just for the sake of keeping them. We haven't raised the minimum wage in a decade and a half and guess what? We still have self-checkouts. It's almost as if companies will replace labor with automation every chance they get regardless of minimum wage. Who would have fucking thunk? So after that argument held up like the Alamo, he pivoted to another debunk trope. Minimum wage is for high school kids and college kids. It's not meant to be a livable wage. Which we've been over a million fucking times, including in the video, the fucking comments on. It is meant to be a living wage, literally according to the dude who fucking got it passed. And McDonald's doesn't close down from 7 to 4 while high school kids are, you know, in fucking high school. Now most people, after being proven objectively wrong twice in a row, would just take the L and go the fuck home. But in the off chance there's a correlation between the number of stars on your state's flag and the number of neurons you've applied towards critically thinking about this argument, you might triple down. And make some shitty statement, like minimum wages for people who suck at life and they always are only making minimum wage because of their own bad decisions. Now, I'm sure somebody who'd make a statement like that is an authority on bad decisions and I'm not trying to take that away from them. But that hypothetical person shouldn't feel bad because they're not special. Most people try to take credit for whatever privilege and opportunity has afforded them. And even with that privilege, their lives usually still aren't awesome. So they have to believe everybody with less is personally responsible for that so they have somebody to look down on. Otherwise, they might have to admit to themselves how depressing their own life is. Which is why they use their vote to make other people's lives suck by redlining and gutting education and social services. So they can feel special by make-believing that they're a step up from the people at the bottom. But the irony or the reality that the empathically devoid never seem to be able to comprehend is that they're using these votes to hurt themselves, all because it hurts somebody they feel superior to just a little bit more. And the fact that people exist who will choose to make their friends and family and themselves suffer just so they can make people they don't like suffer a little more is fucking insufferable.